In Health Works tonight, first it was the Brazilian blowout. Now hair relaxers used by millions of women are under fire. Sally McDonald is here to break it all down. Sally? Yeah, what are we sacrificing for our hair? That is the big question. New research suggests that women's reproductive health could be at risk. Step in any salon and you smell it. Chemicals. More than 70% of our business comes from getting relaxers. At the beauty bar, Audrey Smith is here for her treatment. We all feel great when we have our hair done. For decades, Smith's been getting a relaxer to keep her hair straight without giving much thought to possible risks. Not much, you know, and if I did, I figured it was minimal. We've never had any client come in and say, oh, my doctor has said that I need to stop getting relaxers. Sure, there have been warnings about hair products. And then... Even from comedian Chris Rock. His documentary, Good Hair, shows a soda can that disintegrates after being submerged in chemicals for several hours. So that can's got a good perm. That can's got a good perm. But now a new study from Boston University finds evidence linking hair relaxer to uterine fibroid tumors and early puberty. It used to be a joke that beauty suffers, but not to the point, where, not to the point of death. Tamika Fletcher owns Natural Resources. A salon catering to girls and women embracing the trend of natural hair. This is the worst. Fletcher says her scalp used to look like these pictures, full of chemical burns and bald spots. You know, this is one of the few industries that's not regulated by the FDA. And so if you have the wild, wild west of, you know, hair care products, everybody's kind of claiming what they want to claim without having to prove efficacy. It makes a big difference. No one's really held to any type of real standard. She and the beauty bar can agree on one thing, more research is needed. And all of a sudden, oh, it's supposed to be bad for you? Well, by now, you know, if something was going to happen, it would have happened. Well, in L.A., there's a grassroots group pushing the slogan, Black Going Green. The group plans to rate chemicals in terms of how toxic they are and then make the results public.